The way a clinical trial is developed is as follows. First, a trial, a treatment is uh, studied and found to be effective in some preclinical model. Um, sometimes it's in a test tube using cells. Sometimes it's in an animal that has a similar kind of a disease to one that we know occurs in patients. Once that's found to be safe and doesn't cause deleterious or you know worse damage than is already going on, um, and is shows promise to be helpful in slowing the rate of degeneration. Then a phase one early stage safety study is proposed. A phase one study is designed purely to look and see whether this treatment is going to harm a patient. So the study is not designed to look and see whether it's going to help slow the rate of disease progression. It's really just to see if it's going to cause harm. Phase one studies are usually conducted in patients with very advanced vision loss because they're trying to see if there's any harmful effect and they don't want to cause harm to someone who still use, has useful vision. Sometimes a study, will, a phase one study, will find a treatment not to be helpful and in fact to be harmful. And at that point, the scientists kind of go back to the drawing board and either try to design a different version of the same treatment that will be less harmful, or sometimes that treatment is no longer studied. If a treatment is found to be safe in a phase one study, then a phase two study is conducted. This study is, this type of study is conducted in a larger group of patients. Usually patients are randomized such that someone flips a coin to determine who gets the treatment and who doesn't get the treatment. Oftentimes there's a dose response element to the trial where they try different doses to see which one works the best or which one is gonna be safest or cause problems. And uh, they follow patients not to see if it's supremely effective, but mostly to see if it's gonna be safe in a larger group of patients and to see if there's any, any evidence that it's gonna maybe be effective any, uh, and at which dose will be the most likely to be effective. If the phase two study identifies a dose that is safe and may be effective, then a phase three study is initiated, which is a much larger clinical trial. Usually that involves multiple centers around the United States. Usually the patients are randomized again, where someone flips a coin to determine what treatment they will receive, and patients are followed over time. The phase three study is oftentimes called the pivotal study, where the data is obtained that is necessary to demonstrate to the Food and Drug Administration that a treatment is not only safe, but is also effective in reducing vision loss.